I got involved uh, many years ago when I was on the school board in Nashville, Tennessee, and the League of Women Voters was the one organization that came to the meetings regularly, really had a good grasp of the issue, and made a concerted effort to educate the public at a number of public forums. And I was very impressed with the group, and, and that's when I first began, began to be involved. What we're seeing today, uh, in, in some cases, turns a lot of people off from using their voice in politics and in trying to improve our government. We see uh, a very high level, uh, many times hostile level of partisanship. We see, uh, particularly with the recent Supreme Court decision, uh, an unregulated amount of money coming from all sectors, undisclosed in many cases. And uh, we see a growing number of people who are registering and, and wanting to be independent because they are uncomfortable with the partisanship. So the League of Women Voters works to educate people on issues and help them find common ground. As a, as a nonpartisan organization, we have members from, from all parties and, and in many cases independents uh, who, who come together and try to find the common higher ground, if you will, on some really complex issues that are facing our state and our country. So it was very gratifying to see a bipartisan approach and effort toward the end of gerrymandering in Florida, and we're, we're just thoroughly thrilled about it. Here we are, uh, early January, when a lot of people are making New Year's resolutions, are kind of thinking back at their past year and then thinking forward about what they want to do or change for the next year. And uh, what we saw in Florida, certainly with our Fair Districts campaign, but just generally, there was a, there was a big turnout in Florida, is that uh, civic activism, whether you agree with the results of the election or not, when people get civically activated, change happens. And uh, that's a lesson for those who sat on the sidelines, of which 50% of the state more or less did in the last election, that, that uh, people's voices makes a difference. And that's what the League of Women Voters has always been about. And I've always loved Margaret Mead's fantastic quote, which I think we saw in the last election with fair districts, which is never doubt for a moment that a group of concerned citizens can change the world, because in fact, it's the only thing that ever has.